Welcome back to Bad Pack Openings. Today we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles second series pack of cards here to open. This was made by Tops in, where is it? 1990. Um, in these packs there are five cards, one sticker and one stick of bubble gum. Yes, bubble gum. These old packs of cards, some of them did have chewing gum in there. If you're unfamiliar with bubble gum, it's considered a stable product. Uh, which means it does not expire and there's no expiration date required on the packaging. So although the gum can become very hard and brittle, which you can hear by shaking the pack, it's kind of falling apart, and um, the flavor of the gum could go away over time, it is still safe to chew. So who knows, maybe I'll chew the gum at the end of the video. My son is very excited about the gum too. Um, if you see here, the pack of cards was 25 cents, but there's a funny story about how I acquired these. I did not pay 25 cents a pack for the cards, but I bought these on the bus ride to school in about sixth or seventh grade from a friend of mine that grew up in my neighborhood. He was always bringing weird things to school slash doing funny stuff on the bus, and he had them one day three packs of them, and for whatever reason, I gave him my lunch money for the cards and never opened them, just kind of sat around, but here we are. So let's see how this gum tastes and what's inside of these packs. Okay, so I try to be careful because I don't want this gum falling out. Let's see here. Okay, there's some kind of stuck to the back of this card, which is weird. But yes, there's the gum. That's what a 30-year-old piece of gum looks like. And you can kind of tell that there's a weird color to it. It's not quite that pink bubble gum look, but there's some browns and some weird coloring spots to it now. There's kind of a pale spot. So, still edible. We're just going to set that to the side from now because we're here for the cards. Starting things off, it looks like we got the sticker. Um, this is Baxter from the animated show. So that's cool. Um, and on the other side, this is what... It's another one of those collect all 10 cards to make the bigger picture thing, which I don't think Baxter fits into that picture. But that's our sticker. Very cool. The fly, um, so starting off with the actual cards, card number 170, a finale for the fly. This is Baxter's space shuttle, and I don't remember what's happening, but looks like he's taken off in the air or something. There's some information about the scene. I like the backs of these cards. The front is kind of nice and glossy, but the back has a kind of rough cardboard, cardstock type feel, very cool. Card 108, the Dragon Master. I don't remember this episode, but I do know this guy was like claiming to be some sort of dragon master. Moving right along. Okay, cool. No pain, no fame. Card 120. Um, super cool that they put the card numbers on a little slice of pepperoni pizza down in the corner. corner. So here we got, looks like Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo. They're doing the can-can or something. I don't know. That's card 120. Next we have, oh boy, what's going on here? Card 102, Turtles to the Rescue. Looks like Michelangelo's in some sort of scuffle over a mop with this dude wearing boxers and the rabbit is on a dessert cart. I don't know, that's card 102, I guess. And the last and final card is Man in a New Fly. So this is Baxter again. 146 out of this set, and oh, gross. Okay, so I believe when we opened this, this card was probably up against the gum, and there's kind of some weird coloration going on on this card. It's not on the other cards, I don't think. I didn't see it. So that gum kind of fused into the pack of cards. Ew. Um, so that is what a second edition TMNT pack of cards looks like. Um, we got the great tasting probably piece of gum, the sticker, five cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
don't think I'll be enjoying that gum today, but who knows, maybe I'll eat a piece from a pack that's not so weird looking down the road. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe.